Oh yeah, number two, put your hands together for Sarah Porter. <laughs> So, um, I was reading Cosmo last night, because I'm single, and the article said that 80% of men find women with a husky voice attractive. I think Cosmo is a sack of shit, because I know that 100% of men find women attractive when they don't talk. <laughs> That's attractive, y'all. <laughs> Thank you so much. My name is Sarah Porter, and I'm kind of having a rough time right now because I recently lost my hostessing job. And you know, this economy is just so rough that some people have to worry about losing their job from like um, illegal immigrants or outsourcing to India. But I actually lost my hostessing job to a sign. <laughs> oh, please seat yourself. <laughs> I went up to my manager, I was like, you're making a huge mistake. You know, how are you going to get a sign to sleep with the waiters? <laughs> and how are you going to get a sign to evenly distribute the Canadians? <laughs> Some of you don't have to tables. <laughs> so, um, now that I'm not working, I'm broke. Oh, God, I am so broke that water tastes good. <laughs> I can't even afford the little Crystal Light packets to put in the water. I just drink Crystal Clear water. <laughs> and that's a good day for me. <laughs> Going to the grocery store used to be fun because I used to buy groceries. Like, uh, a gallon of milk costs, like, what, $5.99? But I found out that 24 ounces of Ice House beer costs $1.79. <laughs> now breakfast isn't so depressing anymore. <laughs> Something else I learned at the grocery store is that the cashier will print out coupons for you based on the purchase that you made. For example, um, the other day I bought white bread, bologna, funyuns, and Mountain Dew. And the coupon that printed out for me was to save $1.50 off my next can of Skull Tobacco. <laughs> Thank you, Harris Teeter. <laughs> Something else that I've, I've learned to do to save money is like little do-it-yourself at-home projects. Like the other day I made uh, a set of curtains from an old dress I don't wear anymore because I was watching Gone with the Wind. <laughs> but if I really wanted to be historically accurate, I should have used KKK robes. <laughs> Um, does anybody here suffer from credit card debt? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're amongst friends, y'all. <laughs> make sure that you are aware that there's a new law out there that credit card companies have to tell you how long it's going to take for you to pay your, your balance off if you only make monthly minimum payments. So this lady from Chase called me and she was like, Sarah, you owe us $13,000. <laughs> If you continue to pay your minimum payments, it's going to take you... You know what? Just kill yourself. It'll be fast. <laughs> and if you only spend $2,000 more with a 19.99% APR, you qualify for the new Chase Platinum Suicide Rewards Program. In the mail, we will send to you a platinum rope, a platinum chair, and a platinum over-the-door attachment. <laughs> Anybody here excited that it's baseball playoffs? Baseball! So, I heard that there's this debate going on, is Derek Jeter as great as Babe Ruth? I was like, that's ridiculous. You can't, you can't compare these two players because they're from different time periods. Like, nowadays to get strong, players just take steroids. But back then, to get strong, players had to beat women. <laughs> Thank you 